since humans ever first looked into the night sky, we've always wondered what exactly is up there. We now know a lot more thanks to technology, and in this case, a really talented high school student, mm -hmm. Dana Moranti, is here to explain. Yeah, it's something maybe some high schoolers dream of, you know, naming yeah. a planet, kind of cool. On my high school resume, I, I had uh, a little bit less than that. A couple of things that I thought would stick out to colleges, and this Connecticut high school student can now say something that most of us can't. I discovered a planet. Watch this. <laughs> As senior Alton Spencer walks the halls of Danbury High School, he daydreams about the night sky. My interest for exoplanets really, like, it solidified in the eighth grade. And through some research of other planets, I realized that I found out about plant hunters. The planet hunters Alton is referring to is a NASA program associated with TESS, or Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, which searches for Earth-like planets outside of our solar system. They're collecting so much data that NASA has started to rely on people like Alton to check their work through citizen science. Citizen science is essentially uh, members of the public contributing to, uh, to science the way I have done it. And he did in a big way back in the spring of last year when he sifted through the data and found what he realized was a previously missed categorized planet. So with the help of MIT scientists, he wrote a proposal for NASA to confirm his finding. Data from NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope has confirmed without a doubt that TOI 700 is a legitimate planet. And they confirm the finding by observing what's called the transit of the planet. Now that's a slight dimming of the star's light as the planet passes in front of it. 102 light years. When it comes to so-called transiting planets that could be potentially Earth-like, like relatively Earth size, relatively Earth temperature. This is, I believe, the third closest system. And this TOI 700D is an important find. This planet is about 22% bigger than Earth and gets about 86% as much sunlight, placing it well within what's called the habitable zone. That's also called the Goldilocks zone because it's in a location that's not too hot, not too cold, but just right to potentially sustain liquid water and possibly life forms. And just where is this planet? Well, unfortunately, it can't be seen with the naked eye. You need a telescope, and you also need to be in a different hemisphere. And TOI 700 is found in the constellation Dorado, which is something you won't see in Connecticut sky unless something really goes wrong with the Earth. Sadly, no, you have to go down to the very southern tip of South America or, or South Africa or, or, a plate or Australia to see it. So is Alton looking to turn his head start on planet discovery into a career? I asked him what his plans are for the future. Can you hear this? That's, uh, that's uh, the driving force for where I want, uh, for the places I'm selecting for college. And so I've met a bunch of students across the state who have like an interest in something like this and they don't really know like a way to get into it. And Planet Hunters is one way that you can just go on their website and you just go Planet Hunters, you sign up and boom, you can just start helping out right away and maybe it can lead to a discovery like that. Anyone can do it. You don't need any qualifications, exactly. right? Exactly. Super just cool. Just interest. Cool. Can you name the planet whatever, whatever you want? want. That's, that's what I want to find out, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wonder what I'd name. Somehow I'm guessing no. But yeah. hey.